Hey there YouTubers, this is Kevin from The Bat Productions and today I want to do kind of a video on My Hero Academia. This is actually kind of an interesting one for me because I don't usually delve into math and stuff like that, mainly because I'm just not very good at it. I really did a poor job at grade school, high school, first class I ever came close to failing, yup, math related. But since I really like My Hero Academia and I like trying to break down a lot of things as much as I can, I decided that maybe we would try to do something cool, which was we would try to talk about one of the speeds of the speediest characters on My Hero Academia, which is Gran Torino. I know the old man has definitely lost a step once upon a time, but it looks like he's still pretty dang fast. So really, we want to see what we can do in trying to use some of the stuff from the episodes in order to calculate exactly how fast this guy probably is in present day story. And when I say present day story, I'm talking about the anime and not the manga, because I'm not caught up on that. I don't know what the deal is with him. He could be dead and he is not moving fast at all. Now the measuring stick we're gonna use this at a base is, we're gonna refer to the Kamino incident of My Hero Academia. This is when basically All For One decided to pop his ugly head out. Now there's a lot of stuff that was going on, including a lot of the major heroes. But of course, as you know, it culminated with All Might getting to All For One first with all the kids around trying to take Kachan and he started fighting all for one. Eventually, Gran Torino showed up, but it was not nearly as quick as All Might. So we're gonna use All Might's arrival versus Gran Torino's arrival as kind of our control group and our experiment group and everything here. It took All Might in the late stage of his career to travel about five kilometers to Camino at about 30 seconds, okay? That is what All For One had told us in this clip right here. I'll have you return my student. All for one. It took you long enough to find us. It's only five kilometers from the bar to here, and yet it was at least 30 seconds after I sent the Nomu that you arrived. That's what he said in the clip you just saw, so I'm gonna go with this number plus or minus a couple seconds. So by dividing the distance by the time, all might travel at a speed of about 600 kilometers per hour or 372.8 miles per hour for you Americans out there like myself. Now going from there, I measured how long it took for Gran Torino to join the battle. At about nine minutes into the episode, All Might arrives trying to bash All For One, trying to save the day. Now Gran Torino arrives approximately nine minutes later at the episode, and presumably had been running at the same start of time as All Might when they found out that All For One was around and Bakugo was in trouble. Come on, you two. Mind you, I was using about nine minutes later in the episode. So that means other stuff was happening that was probably concurrent at the same time. So let's say we'll cut out about two minutes to be really generous to Gran Torino and figuring out how fast he actually went to account for flashbacks and side conversations with characters and stuff like that that really happened simultaneously to the all for one all might fight. Now that brings it down to a travel time of about seven minutes for Gran Torino. That leaves us at 40 kilometers per hour or 24.85 miles per hour, which is way slower than all might or what we've assumed he could do. Now I have to imagine that Gran Torino is significantly faster than this. After all, Olympic gold medalist Usain Bolt could top out about 27 miles per hour. So obviously Gran Torino who has a quirk that makes him really, really fast he would be faster than Usain Bolt. So take this isolated example of Gran Torino with a grain of salt, but it could be indicative of just how slow Gran Torino at his old age had become in kind of a 3.1 mile or five kilometer race. You're too slow. You're just too fast, hotshot. I mean, we know he has excellent agility and is shifty, but perhaps maybe the character just can't run long distances really quickly. Maybe he has no endurance like All Might. For all we know, Gran Torino can just like jump place to place to place and that's about it, whereas All Might can do just one big leap and kind of get out of there like Neo in the Matrix, kind of like that. And you know what, to be honest, for all we know, Gran Torino's little body can't handle the wind resistance here because that definitely plays a factor. A character like All Might can go about 600 kilometers an hour because not only is he very fast, but his body is fairly impervious and can handle the wind resistance. Whereas someone like Gran Torino, if he tried to meet that level of speed without proper protection, the old man would either break in half 
or he was just flat out black out from kind of like the g-force. So there is a possibility that Gran Torino actually when he had found out that there was trouble like All Might he had run as fast as he could but he was stopping from place to place but really the wind resistance would have played a factor in slowing him down as well compared to an All Might. So how much can you really blame the little old man? Maybe back in the day he was a bit faster as well but based off of what we know from the present day Gran Torino is fast but based off these calculations not that fast. But that's it, that's just a little experiment of mine using some rudimentary math, because that's what we do during corona quarantine times, I guess. But what did you think? Do you let me know down below in the comment section what you thought of this video, and if you think I should do some more stuff like this. I think it'd be fun to calculate like Tenny Ida, Stain, how powerful Endeavor's Flames are, things like that. But of course, if you like these videos, just hit the subscribe button so you can see even more content in the future. Remember to hit the bell button so you know that you can get all the notifications when I upload again right at the front of your desktop. And of course, check out some of my other videos in the meantime, if you would like to. Otherwise, hope you have an amazing day, everybody. You take care. Goodbye, everyone.